Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. So if you're looking for a new website, then go to squarespace.com. Wow, this has turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous morning. There is sun coming through, but uh, it's very light overcast, which is perfect for uh, forest photography. Just over to, or in front of me here, there's uh, a river. So there's a nice bit of clearing there. So we, we're getting ambient light coming in on the side of the, uh, the riverbank here. And generally speaking, most of the largest trees are, are always kind of, well, not always, but most of the time are on the side or the low, the low lying uh, areas along the, the river banks. So this particular area here, uh, in front of me here, there's a couple of really large uh, cedars. And then we have this large cedar here. And we have some nice uh, logs that have fallen down old trees. And I, I really like that. And I often look for old trees that have fallen, fallen down. Uh, I, I just, I, it, it kind of gives the, the area or the photograph a, a kind of a sense of place, if that makes sense. When you have a second growth forest, uh, most of that stuff has all been burnt off. So you'll just get stumps and uh, and burnt logs which is not that inspiring but here we have some really old trees that have fallen down and then you have uh, other saplings growing out of those old trees so they're nurse logs so it's just it's just absolutely beautiful there's lots of salau of this green leafy stuff around the edges of the of the cedar here so this is actually the trail that goes to the lower waterfall and uh, I just love the light that's coming in from the side here. So I'm trying to include this cedar here, but not the whole thing. And then the log that's kind of fallen down. And then also uh, there's another cedar tree that has an, some nice light coming in from the side there. And every now and then, because the sun's in front of me here, you'll get a little bit of backlighting. So it's a matter of just timing it right I don't want full sun because that's just too harsh, but just a little bit of sun. Like right now is not bad, but just a little bit more. It's starting to kind of come through. So it's just a matter of waiting. And, you know, I've said this a number of times throughout my videos. Uh, with landscape photography, your best friend is just to slow right down. I mean, the, the landscape is not going anywhere. So there's no rush, you know, just take your time, think about your compositions, think about the light. As you can see now, 
the area back there, there's some little backlit uh, patches there, which I kind of like. So that's kind of what I'm after. But yeah, just slow right down and you'll find that your photography will improve tenfold. Uh, generally, when I come away on these trips, I'll only concentrate on maybe a dozen compositions total and just keep refining those. And, and generally speaking, not always, but most of the time I'll come away with one or two images that I'm really happy with. Right, I'm going to set up my composition and just wait for the light. And I'll show you what I have on the back of my camera. So this is the composition that I have so far. I've talked about this in other videos where I'll just include, say, half of a tree in the foreground. To my eye, it gives the illusion that the tree is much bigger than it really is. Now, this tree is quite large, but by just including half of it just looks that more dominant. And uh, so you can see that there's a bit of a trail here. Now, the only part that I'm not that keen about is this corner down here seems a little, a little empty. We have Salal on this side, but not much on this side. And also the image is very heavily weighted because of this tree on this side. There isn't really a lot going on on this side. I am having a little bit of trouble with this thinner tree kind of just over to the left there. Um, if I move over to the, uh, the left, it kind of cuts the trail out. There is a trail back there that I wanted to include. Whether you'll see it in the, in the final image, I'm not sure. This is the tree that I really like. This middle one here um, has some really nice light on it. And also I kind of like the, how it gets brighter in the background there. So I'll probably uh, work on that in Photoshop, maybe darken this area here and then draw you into this central portion here. I do, I do find this little tree though a little bit close to, there's a tree in the background there. So those are the things that I, I try to think of. I've also put on a polarizer because there is quite a bit of glare coming off the roots and I'm not sure whether I like that or not. So I'll probably take some with and without. See, that's unpolarized. You can see that there's some sheen on the side of the tree here. And if I turn the polarizer here, it gets rid of that sheen. But I think a little bit of sheen actually uh, helps add depth. So uh, that's what I have so far. I might back up and see if I can get some more Salal because there is some Salal on the, uh, on the left side here try to balance it out a bit more. But this is kind of the composition that I'm working at. And uh, yeah, I think it uh, shows the, uh, the old growth forest quite nicely. As far as focus goes for this image, now I am stopped down to F16. I'm quite close to the tree in the foreground, but what I'm doing is I'm just gonna focus on this log right here. And we can see if we have enough depth at F16. Like I've said in, in past videos, I'm not terribly concerned about the background so much. It's more to do with the, the foreground. And you can see it's a, it's a pretty long exposure. It's five seconds, F16, ISO 100. And luckily there's very little wind, so the, the foliage isn't moving around too much. So let's have a look here. Now I have underexposed it by one stop. And the reason being is that back here, you can see that because there's more light, I don't want that to be overexposed. So as far as sharpness goes, so look at the foreground here. So the slough is nice and sharp. And then of course the, the log in the midground mid is nice and sharp. And it does fall off a little bit in the background. But like I said, I'm not really terribly concerned about that. It's just the foreground. This, this tree here, this middle tree, that's in sharp focus as well. So uh, there you go. Actually, that's a nice composition there. I might crop it a little bit, actually. Anyway, there we go.
Once again, I want to take this opportunity to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Squarespace, let me introduce you to them. Squarespace is an easy to use all-in-one platform that has enabled millions of artists like me to set up a great looking website with absolutely no fuss. Squarespace has dozens of beautiful standalone website templates to choose from or use as a starting point for a customizable, professional looking website. Why not go to squarespace.com to start your free trial? And if you decide to go with Squarespace, use the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. All right, I found a composition that's uh, more or less the same, but I, I think I like this one better because we have, you'll notice now, some Salau in the foreground here on the left side, just to balance it out on the, on the right side. So all I've done is just move back a little bit more and you can see the trail going through here and then we go over to this tree and then hopefully into the background. So, the, oops, the, uh, the principle is the same. I've included more or less half of the, the tree in the foreground and then we have that nice cedar in the background and actually the placement of that thin tree I quite like. Uh, I think I like it better in this image as well. So like I said it's just a matter of slowing down and, and just keep working at it. A lot of the times we'll, we'll see something and um, we know there's something there but we, we kind of know in the back of our mind we haven't quite got it and I think if we just slow down and just keep working at it that eventually you'll get something that you're, you're happy with. So uh, yeah I think uh, I think this might work out okay. Now I'm going to go on the other side of the log and see if I can get a shot looking the other way behind me because some, there's some uh, really beautiful cedars behind me and uh, perhaps I can kind of do the same kind of composition with the, the dead log in the, in the foreground and, and uh, perhaps this tree in there as well. So we're going to see what we can do. to say I prefer this version over the first crack primarily because of the balance of the photograph I much prefer this because of the Salal in the bottom left corner there it just balances it out nicely with the uh, the big cedar on the on the right side would have been nice if it extended up just a little bit further but uh, unfortunately I ran out of Salal to photograph, so sometimes you just have to make some compromises. I'll also mention that uh, for this image, I actually used the warp tool in Photoshop, which I never use. Uh, the reason why I used it is because the foreground cedar and the midground cedar were leaning over to the right and they naturally lent that way uh, but it didn't look quite right to me so rather than using the uh, perspective tool which affects the whole image globally I just wanted to straighten up those trees a little bit so uh, the warp tool worked quite well in this in this instant let me know what you think do you prefer this photograph or do you prefer the first version once again, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this video and leaving comments and giving your thumbs up. It's much appreciated. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you enjoy the content of my channel, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. All right, uh, I've cut this one short. I still have one more video of this area that I'm, I'm really looking forward to sharing with you all. So stay tuned for that for next week. Till then, bye for now.